Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today we are going to be comparing the iPad first generation and the iPad third generation, both running iOS 5.1.1. So the iPad 3, the white one over there, is actually dual booted with Cool Booter. So it is not like its main OS, but it is still iOS 5.1.1, as you can see here. iOS 5.1.1 on both of these. So as you may know, iOS 5.1.1 is the iPad first generation's last iOS version and cannot update anything past it. It is actually the second iOS version on the iPad third generation. Its original iOS version was 5.1. This is 5.1.1. So they are running the same firmware. We are going to be testing to see how they perform in comparison to one another on the same iOS version. Okay, so let's start with stock iOS applications. As you can see, the iPad third generation comes with a good bit more, including FaceTime camera and photo booth, because the iPad first generation, as you may know it, has no camera anywhere to be seen on the iPad. So, as you might know, the YouTube application on iOS 5 does not work anymore. As you can see, YouTube is not available on both of those. So, we are going to test YouTube on both of these iPads in 3, 2, 1. And this is also a speed test, not only a comparison. They actually loaded at, like, the exact same time almost. So, we are going to be, um, we are going to be searching, um, Tech It Out, which is my channel as you know on both of these iPads apparently I got the other iPad muted um but we are going to see which one loads it faster in three two one the iPad third generation by like half a second so now we are going to try loading a video and see which one loads it faster in three two one the iPad three by a long shot Okay, so they are both playing it perfectly fine, it looks like. So that is the YouTube test, and I also have some games, as you can see, that we're going to try to see how they can run. Now we are going to try Safari. So they loaded the actual application about the same time. So we are going to go to Apple.com on both of these, and I'm going to hit them at the same time. So in 3, 2, 1... Oh, I've missed it. But the iPad 3 still wins, even though I hit it a little bit after the iPad first generation. The iPad first generation, well, now it loaded. I was going to say it still hasn't loaded. But we're going to try our normal iPad Pro section and see if any of these crash. So there goes the iPad 3 once again. Once again, these are on iOS 5.1.1. So now we're going to hit iPad Pro in 3, 2, 1. Okay, there we go. And the, actually I'm not sure who loads it first this time. It's going to be close. The iPad 3, okay. And the iPad first generation just crashed as you can see. That's why I always test this section because for whatever reason it seems to be the hardest for the device to load. So the next thing we're going to do in Safari is we're going to close out Apple here and we're going to go to Microsoft.com. Okay, in three, two, one. Once again, the iPad third generation, it looks like is winning. The iPad first generation is still on Apple over here. And there they are. So they have both loaded. But once again, the iPad third generation loads it fastest as this is a dual core and it has one gigabyte of RAM and it actually has a retina display. This does not have the retina display and it has 256 megabytes of RAM and it's only a single core processor. So that is why it's a bit slower <coughs> on this particular firmware. So that is all I'm going to do for the Safari test. Now we are going to test a few games.
Okay, so the first game we are going to test is Minecraft. It is a fresh install on both of these iPads, so we are going to try both of them in three, two, one. Okay, so already it looks like the iPad third generation is much faster. We're going to see how fast we can actually get into the game. We've got the iPad first generation loaded here, and here's the iPad 3 already loaded, it looks like. So, we're still waiting on the iPad first generation, and I bet once we actually get into a world, we'll have to wait on it to load. Well, there it went, actually. But as you can see, the frame rate of the iPad third generation is much higher. So, as you can see, we spawned in very different places, but... The frame rate of the iPad 3rd generation is like 60 frames per second. This is like 15 frames per second on the first generation. And this little dude is going so super slow in the water. So, he's trying to get onto the land so I could show you how the frame rate is when he walks around. But at this rate, man, I'd ever get there. Okay, so we're on the land. And this is how you run around on the first generation iPad. So that's probably somewhere around 20 frames per second. The iPad third generation, on the other hand, is somewhere around 45 to 60 frames per second. That's my guess. Because it looks a lot better and responds a whole lot faster than the iPad first generation. So, without querying the app switcher, the next game we are going to try is Monster Truck Destruction. If you saw my gaming on the iPad first generation in 2018 video, you would know that we've used this before, but we're going to try it. It has, I believe it's been launched on this one, but not on this one, but we're going to see how fast it loads in 3, 2, 1. Already, looks like it's going much faster on the iPad third generation once again. And it has never been opened on the third generation. Okay, so there it is. And I do not entirely remember how to do this. But I'm going to try to start something. And there goes that. Okay, so you can see a difference in the frame rate. Hopefully already. I'm not sure if you can, but I can tell a huge difference and the frame rate on both of these the iPad third generation is much higher already. So this is how it plays on the first generation and I'll show you on the third before the time expires hopefully. Okay. So as you can see it plays on the first generation just not at a high frame rate just like Minecraft. But there is a chance of crashing Minecraft on the first generation. This, on the other hand, once again, is like 60 frames per second, if you can see that well. Oh crap, there's a wall. I think you hit the brakes to go backwards. Yep. Okay, so it plays Monster Truck Destruction, or both of them play Monster Truck Destruction perfectly fine. So I'm going to close the app switcher, mostly for the iPad first generation, just so it doesn't run out of RAM. So, that is two games we have tried already. The next one we are going to try is Bike Race. A lot of people play this game, or used to play this game at least. And here it goes. The iPad 3rd generation once again. And I forgot this game doesn't like to twist around, so. It is loaded on both. As you can see, it's immediately much faster on the 1st generation. I mean the 3rd generation. So, if I remember how to play this, yeah, okay, so you lean like that. So, the iPad first generation plays it in what looks like is the highest frame rate you're going to get. I don't believe you're going to get a higher frame rate, but I guess we're about to find out. But yeah, I can't really tell the difference on this game, on the frame rates, to be honestly, to be honest, but... They both play that game pretty well. It doesn't require much graphics at all. So that's as to be expected. That is the last video game I'm going to try on this test. Okay, so now we are going to try some loading speed tests of just some stock applications starting with settings in 3, 2, 1. The iPad 3 loads it first. Okay. Now we are going to move on to newsstand in 3, 2, 1. 
and that's what newsstand is. Okay, I don't really mess with newsstand. Now going on to the app store in three, two, one. It looks like we've got the iPad third generation first. Minecraft was the last thing, game I downloaded, so that's why it's still up. So now moving on to the iTunes store in three, two, one. Still something loading, I guess we'll see who loads that first. And the iPad third generation, as expected, has loaded the iTunes store first. Now with Game Center in 3, 2, 1. iPad 3. Now videos. I don't believe there's any videos on these, but I guess we're about to find out. In 3, 2, 1. Okay. iPad 3. Everything is loaded much faster on the iPad 3. And even though YouTube doesn't work, Three, two, one. Okay, so that one says YouTube not available first, so that's what we're going to go with. Now the maps, we're going to see which one loads first. This one might be the one that takes the longest to load on both of these. So maps in three, two, one. And there it is. So they have both loaded, as you can see. And that is the last of the stock iOS applications we are going to do a loading test on. So thank you for watching this video, guys. If you want to know how to dual boot iOS 5.1.1 or 5.1 or really any iOS version on the iPad 3 or the iPad 1, let me know. The reason I said that is because this one is dual booted once again on 5.1.1, as I said earlier, but it runs pretty much the same. I can't tell any difference, actually. But it runs pretty good, so if you want to know how, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try to make a video on it. Please subscribe to my channel. My goal is to have 50 by the end of this week, maybe by the end of next week. That would be awesome if I could have 50 subscribers, so let's try to shoot for that. So thank you for watching this. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.